this is Valerie of Give Me Lip and More. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you came back on purpose, well, you already know you're my favorite. All right. Well, I watched a video of Hannah Louise Poston. She talked about poisonous language and how easy it is to encourage people to buy things that they don't need, like by saying, hey, you need this. Or if this is your color story, you should buy it. And I got to thinking, poisonous language, because that right there is a slippery slope, you know. Um, but it, it affects consumerism, it affects our pocketbook, but it's more external than internal. The poisonous language that exists that terrifies me more is the language of, well, this will erase all of your fine lines. This will erase all of your age spots. This will make you look 10 years younger. That's internal. That affects our self-esteem. That makes us feel like we're less than, than we are. You know what? Let me tell you. I'm 48. And some days, I look a little younger. And some days, oh my, I'm pretty scary. And I look older. And you know what? I have earned every wrinkle, every fine line, every age spot, every gray hair. I don't want to be 20. I don't want to look 20. I'm not 20. I want to look and feel my best for my current age. And I, I'm 48. So my body has been through lots of changes. I've given birth to three children. I have grandbabies. I, again, I have wrinkles. I've lost 146 pounds. So you should see my sexy excess skin. I mean, I have the flabbiest underarms. It's, it's, it, you know, and I have to find some humor in it. But you know what it shows? It shows progress. It shows that I did lose that weight. It did come off. And it left a mark. Marks aren't necessarily bad. Why, why are we avoiding the marks of life? I personally love tattoos, so these marks may not be quite as flattering as a tattoo. But if I'm going to go and pay someone to mark my body, and I usually do that to um, show a point in my life that I want to never forget, then why would I try and erase all of the marks? that nature gives me for free. Why am I avoiding them? Why, why am I terrified that someone's going to notice that I'm not 20 or 30 or early 40, that I'm almost 50? But you know what? I want to go out there and I want to show the world, you know what? We can be almost 50 or 50 or 60 or however old you are. And we can be our absolute best. We don't have to buy into looking younger or um, being something that we're not. I started this channel because I want to have fun. I, I want to enjoy myself. And it's one of the best things I've done for me. You know, I am so fortunate. I have met some of the most wonderful people on here and you might get sick of hearing me say that, but it's true. It's absolutely true. I have met phenomenal people and of all ages and all races and no one, no one makes me feel like I don't belong. No one says, oh, well, you're too old for that. Maybe they think it. I don't know, but they don't say it to me. 
you know. Now, maybe later on, maybe I will get some hate comments. Maybe later, somebody will say, hey, we don't like your A, B, and C. Well, good for you. You know, you know what you like and what you don't like. And if you don't like it, well, don't let the back door hit you, right? <laughs> I mean, I just, I want women, all women, to feel good about themselves and comfortable and to love the place that you are now. And if you want to make changes, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but do it for you. Don't let somebody else's ideals sway your opinion of yourself. Because if you want to color your hair, color your hair. If you want to erase some fine lines, erase some fine lines. Just make sure that whatever you're doing, you're doing it for you and not because society has said that you should have less lines or less gray hair or less age spots or less anything. You know, I think self-care is absolutely wonderful and necessary to being healthy. And so if part of your self-care is looking younger, that's not a problem. The problem is when you change your self-care to suit someone else's needs because their expectations of you are different than who you are. I just want you to be you because I think you are absolutely fabulous just the way you are with all of the marks that life has put all over you repeatedly. So, you know, again, I've earned all my marks. Um, I don't feel the need to get rid of any of them. I'm keeping them all. And I might get some tattoos on top of them and decorate them and make them look a little bit more, hmm, I don't know, like that. And sometimes I have people say, they'll say, hey, Valerie, what are you going to do when you get old with those tattoos? And I'm thinking, uh, my wrinkles will be more interesting than yours. <laughs> goodness you know I mean it is what it is but I'm not going to get my tattoos covered up what kind of wrinkles would those look like you know right now my wrinkles are gonna be pretty darn cool <laughs> anyway again I'm so glad that you've joined me today and I just want you to be the best you you possibly can be and that's your definition of the best you, not my definition, yours. So I want you to be your definition of the best you you can be. Because I think that is so important that you're comfortable with yourself. And if you have questions or comments or concerns or suggestions or you want to talk this out, talk to me. We can talk about it all day long. All right, but again, I'm so glad that you joined me. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And I hope you subscribe. And I'll see you soon.